and to Meman. Uh, let, what really is the motive behind this change of this uh, change of name and at this time? It's not just a change of name. Okay. It's a complete reinvention okay. of the way to business. Um, Nigeria is a country that um, has been focused on oil and gas. Uh, we as a business, our roots are in oil and gas, but the world is not just changing, it has changed. Um, Nigeria needed a change of policy, uh, the oil and gas policy, to make the other energies viable. Um, the removal of the subsidy all of a sudden uh, uh, makes it incumbent on us to take another look at the way we do business and to make these other energies, the renewable energies, other energies available to the public. So uh, my members, like I said, I've taken a, a, a couple of weeks, a couple of months to reinvent the way they, they, we do business, whether it is in terms of the way we operate to reduce our own emissions from our distribution business and up, up to the offer that we make to our customers, our customers uh, across the economy uh, to make uh, other energies, alternative energies available to them. Uh, to make uh, energies uh, more affordable to the customer, but also to reduce uh, emissions um, from these energies to the in, in, into the atmosphere. Uh, government, of course, to make some refineries functional. I, I'm interested in this very seriously. What I call refinery after the 1.5 billion from the FDB and what's happening with Dangote refinery receiving shipments of crude and to start production. Uh, what really uh, is the impact? I think you'll be able to tell us better what impact this would have on the entire value chain or the sector itself. You know, sometimes you do not see the forest for the trees. Um, those refineries coming on board signal a significant change, not just in the industry, but in the economy as a whole. Uh, as a country, um, as a continent, we all want the full beneficiation of our natural resources. We want it done at home. Um, it brings jobs, it brings uh, savoir-faire, knowledge, it brings foreign exchange, and um, that is where we are. Um, those refineries coming on stream, producing uh, petroleum products at home, uh, and, 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 and good quality petroleum products at that uh, can only be good for the economy, can only be good for, 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 for all Nigerians. It's a really exciting time for all of us. Mm. Are we looking at just affecting pricing in any way? I, I want to ask. Uh, uh, when you say affecting prices, we've already made the decision as a country that uh, the price of petroleum products will be the, the correct price. Uh, there will be no, no, no subsidies. I think uh, the key challenge in having a stable price in petroleum products is the, is the challenge of availability of foreign exchange. But um, producing at home is the first step in resolving that challenge. Uh, for as long as uh, foreign exchange is stable, then the prices of petroleum products will be stable. It's stability that we're looking for, but uh, cost recovery is a given. We can no longer go back to subsidies. Hmm. So you've mentioned the big one, the big elephant in the cupboard, that's forex scarcity. The issue remains on the front burner of every 